You've met Garank, I take it. Then owing to our duties shared, we are now comrades in arms. I think you've earned this. The power of the Golden Order to aid the hunt of those who live in death. I serve the Golden Order, that I might put this crooked land to rights, following only the guidance of the Great Elden Ring. Those who live in death fall outside the principles of the Golden Order. Their mere existence sullies the guidance of gold, tainting its truth. And so it is, the vermin must be exterminated. Down to the very last. Ah, we meet again after all. I apologize for any offense given by my bearing, but I'm quite unable to move, you see. So, what do you need? Ah, you defeated Godric and claimed yourself a great rune. Hmm, looks like we both got what we wanted out of Stormvale, didn't we? Well done, friend. Something to mark the occasion. Go on, take it. As you might have guessed, I still can't move. My fighting days are behind me. No need to be polite. I've no use for it anymore. Ah. So you've met D. D is an old friend. We found ourselves journeying together for a time, bound by our exploration of death. But our paths have since diverged, never again to cross. Though that's hardly an uncommon fate for two friends. Did you need something? Are you acquainted with a man named Roger? You know. The piteous fellow hiding away on the balcony. He was a formidable spellblade in times past. Don't let his easy air deceive you. He was wise beyond his years, stout of heart and clear of mind. No more, though. You see him now, ravaged by thorns, muttering and rambling, like he's half dead already. I can't stomach to watch. Take well the lesson, friend. That's how you end up when seduced by those who live in death. When grace is sullied, it rots people from the inside. Breaks them. Greetings. Are you here for spirit? Now, those eyes tell a story of a challenger who's felled her mark. Find them well. Now lay out your arms. I am pleased to see you again. Would you like me to hold you once more? Now. Come closer. You are so very warm. Then good day to you, my dear. I am pleased. Would you like the blessing? Would you like... Now. You are so... very warm. Then good day to you.
are you that new tarnished? You've done well. I am Enya, the finger reader. I interpret the words of the fingers, envoys to the greater will. Look there. The fingers tremble to welcome you, Shardbearer. Let their wisdom wash over you. Great Elden Ring, root of the Golden Order, anchor of all lands, giver of grace, wellspring of all joy. Until it was shattered, the tragic corruption of the Order has taken its toll. Across the realm, Life lies in ruin, fallen to pieces. Foul curses and misery spread, unabating. But the greater will has not abandoned the realm, nor the life that inhabits it. So it is that the tarnished are guided by grace, called to act. Brave Tarnished, your great rune is a handsome shard of the Elden Ring. Seek another of its kind. To become Elden Lord and restore the Golden Order. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Well, well, I see. A remembrance of gold has found its way into your possession. Demigods and even the crater of the champions are hewn by the earth tree upon their end into remembrances. They are valuable indeed. These remembrances yet house the power of their former masters. And should you wish to wield that same power, well, I will lend you the strength of the fingers. Oh, do not recoil from my offer. The fingers guide us all. And you, tarnished, you are here to take, are you not? Great runes are the stuff of demigods. The children of the goddess, Queen Marika. She who is vessel of the Elden Ring. Tainted by the strength of their runes, her children warred, but none could become Elden Lord. And so grace was extended to your kind, the tarnished. Listen, the fingers speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigods. Tarnished, show no mercy. Have their heads, take all they have left. Indeed. But remember one thing. The demigods are each and all the direct offspring of Queen Marika. Godric the Grafted was but a distant relation, the runt of the litter. His divine blood sorely diluted. Now go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Receive the wisdom of the two fingers, have you not? Then I bid you welcome, as a true member of the Round Table. 
I am known as Gideon Ofnir. As a tarnished who wishes to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord, I am accumulating knowledge to be all-knowing. You now belong to a select group of fellows. As such, I ask that you remain constant. You'll be after more great runes now, eh? Then as your fellow, allow me to divulge a little knowledge. The inheritors of the great runes, the shard bearers. We of the round table know the location of five of them, including the one you defeated. Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. General Radan, who fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds. Praetor Rykard, Lord of the Volcano Manor of Mount Gelmir. Morgoth, the Grace Given, Veiled Monarch and Lord of Lame Dell. And Renala, Queen of the Full Moon, ruler of Rhea Lucaria's Academy. You'll still be after more great runes. Won't you? So, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale. Despite being the blood of Godfrey, first Elden Lord, he's a grotesque old fool grasping for power. His castle lies upon the cliff to Limgrave's northwest, but I suspect you know that well enough already. General Radan, the famed Red Lion and Scourge of the Stars, is a ferocious warrior. He fought Melania and her rot to a standstill in the Caled Wilds to Limgrave's east. And now Caled has been engulfed by the Scarlet Rot. Even approaching the region is no mean feat. I've heard survivors of Radan's army are still in the wilds, staving off the rot with fire. And if it's true, I suspect Radan is still there as well, in Kaelid. Though, I doubt he much resembles his former self anymore. Praetor Rikard is the lord of the Volcano Manor on Mount Gelmir. He is a ruthless justicia who commands a company of inquisitors, reviled for his serpentine demeanor. The volcano, Mount Gelmir, lies in the west of the Altus Plateau the realm of the Erd Tree. It was the stage of the most appalling battle in the entirety of the Shattering. Rykard has committed the grave sin of blasphemy, marking himself as an enemy never to be forgiven. Morgoth the Grace given is Lord of Landell, the capital city. It lies at the foot of the Erd Tree, in the east of the Altus Plateau. But the Two Fingers forbid us from venturing there. Until we've acquired enough great runes to repair the Elden Ring. Set your sights elsewhere for the time being. The Veiled Monarch can wait. The Academy of Rhea Lucaria lies to Limgrave's north, towering over the mist-laden lands of Lyernia. Renala is queen of the Carian royals, who govern the Academy. But Renala herself is no demigod. Her beloved, Radagon, left her to become Queen Marika's second husband, taking the title of King Consort. The Great Rune dwells within the Amber Egg that was Radagon's gift to her. I understand you've been speaking to Nefeli. She's my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of Grace. Though a mere axe-wielding barbarian, her youthful credulity suited my purposes. So I put her to work. Do not hesitate to employ her. Should her services benefit you? Despite her looks, she is more than capable in the press of battle. 